Hi, this is Paul from Trainworks. Today we are going to take a little drive with the new RE421. Uh, this engine will be part of a new pack that uh, contains various versions of the RE421 and also B50 and EC90 wagons. Uh, with that, uh, it becomes possible to uh, to build some international trains and uh, have some more variety on uh, on Swiss routes that are now available. So what I'm going to do today is uh, drive a like a test scenario that I've made, um, and uh, during the process of uh, of driving from uh, uh, from Switzerland into Germany to Lindau, uh, I'm going to explain you a little bit about the, the operations of the RE421. Uh, and uh, and just show you a little bit of the things that have changed. So we're going to start uh, on the three country corner route. There will be two scenarios included with the pack. One of them will be on the three country corner route and one of them will be on SPV route one. Uh, if you have the pack, that route, and the free freight wagon packs from uh, from our website, you will be able to drive these scenarios. Then there will be two added scenarios uh, that have a lot of rolling stock and you will need virtually everything from Trainworks to be able to drive those scenarios, uh, but they will be available later uh, through the scenario page on our website. Good afternoon. We're going to take this express train from St. Margaret to Lindau today. Please open the door, start the engine, and wait for your departure time. Okay, so, uh, we're at St. Mark Rathen now. Uh, you can see the, the wagons and one of the versions of the RE421. So to start up the engine, uh, let's just open the doors first. To start up the engine, uh, we uh, switch the main braking system, BVH. Uh, then we unlock the switch panel. Uh, by default, the country is set to Switzerland. This RE421 has a Swiss and a German uh, state. Uh, we'll go, go into that a bit more later. Um, then we will start up uh, the engine by uh, pushing forward the switches, which is always from right to left. So uh, control current, like storage, strom, pantograph, switch, uh, compressor. Uh, the Tsuxo uh, machine, so the electric bus bar, the lights in the wagons, and the, uh, the train lights, which will go on automatic if you push this forward. Um, the train coming in here. Okay, to uh, activate soup, and this is the hybrid soup system, which will uh, try and give you some information on the soup display. Uh, although this is a route without soup magnets, the soup magnets are only available on rivet routes. Uh, so it will try and interpret signal and track uh, information and give you uh, soup information on the display, which might not always be completely correct, but uh, but it's close. Okay, let's start up the main switch again. Dash light. We've got the possibility to open the mirrors. There's a switch here for that. Close it again. Okay, we can leave now. Brakes are off. Let's put the reverser uh, to forward position and slowly try and uh, put some power on.
so we can do 80 here, but there will be a warning for 60 kilometers an hour. Or there is a warning for 60, so up ahead we will have to, uh, to stay under 60.
here are parts of uh, of the free Swiss wagon packs. You've got two free packs, one by Wilbur Graphics and one by, by uh, Red October. Uh, they are a free download. They make for some nice scenery. We see a uh, uh, speed restriction of 60. Um, so just uh, have to be careful not to, uh, to go too fast. Do some dynamic braking. here. Obviously Zoop is not uh, giving us inf any information here because, again, uh, there's no signals that uh, give input to the Zoop system. A little bit of overspeed, go downhill. side of the track. As you know Switzerland we drive on the left side. Austria normally we drive on the right side of the track. As almost everywhere else. Okay we can uh, pick up some speed here. but we have to go 120 a little bit uh, further down the line a little bit too much power again it's pretty difficult to uh, to concentrate on the driving while you're also doing a tutorial trying to explain things so it's not perfect but I'm pretty sure that you will can do much better job
see the Rheingold version here of the RE421, the uh, IRSA version, which is also included. Some passengers and in a couple of seconds, a minute I think, we will be ready for departure again. Okay, we can leave now, take care of 50 kilometers an hour uh, speed restriction up ahead just a warning because it would be very easy to, uh, to pick up too much speed here fast always in a hurry there we go enjoy the scenery here
wordt stopt daar. So what we're going to do now is uh, switch to the German system uh, and uh, in order to, uh, to do that uh, we are on the brakes and the only thing we really have to do is uh, press Ctrl Shift C. You will get an information uh, and it will also tell you here switch to German system, Ctrl Shift C and activate PZB85 which you can do with Shift 8. So uh, we are now switched to the other pentagraph, the other system, uh, and uh, with Shift 8 we can go through this, the different settings of PZB, and it's now on 85. And to activate it, I'm going to get light. Get light. Uh, we just. Uh, one time, the system will do a self-test and start up. It will say here that we have PZB over the Zugart, uh, that it's on, and LZB is standby. That will only... I don't think we've got LZB on this route. I'm pretty sure we don't, but on some routes like uh, routes near Hamburg, we do have LZB and this engine will pick up on that. Also, Zup is now covered, which means that that will not work anymore in, uh, in the German system. Uh, so now we are ready to uh, press shift L to kill the cab light. We are actually ready to drive off again. And I am not completely uh, uh, well informed about the use of PZB, so I'll try and use it without getting emergency brakes. Uh, one thing that uh, is good to know is that the brake will stop here at the release state but if you press the button by pressing L on the keyboard you can put it in the, uh, the Abschluss uh, Stellung. Uh, we have changed that so uh, so just so you know. Anyway let's uh, try and drive off. I think we have to stay under 40 until the first PZB magnet if I'm correct. We will start to have blinking lights here, hopefully, yeah, here we go, we can acknowledge that, and now we, as far as I know, we have to stay under 40 kilometers an hour. Until we have passed the first PZB magnet. Again, I am not an expert on PZB. Uh, I did read through all the manuals to, uh, to script the whole thing, uh, but it's been a while since I've, uh, <laughs> I've driven on German routes. Obviously, I'm building a lot of, uh, of trains, uh, almost everything for Swiss, uh, for the Swiss SBB. So. Forgive me if I make stupid mistakes here. Okay, I can see that the light has stopped blinking now, which I can only assume means that we can now accelerate up to 100. that uh, obviously in this route PZB magnets are, uh, are, uh, are there, so this system should work correctly. Uh, if it doesn't, uh, it probably has more to do with, uh, with some of the scripting. Sometimes there are corner cases that just causes issues, uh, but I, I'm 
pretty sure that the system works 99% correctly. Uh, and also I'm pretty sure that if it doesn't, I will hear from you guys what's wrong with it. Sometimes it's difficult or impossible to fix, uh, but most of the time it's just extra scripting, trying to, to make sure that every case creates the correct behavior. Again, I have to make sure that I don't miss any signs. Because we will then definitely get it so it's blue. See 90 coming up. So just to make sure that I'm in time, I'll just slow down here. just <laughs> because I'm not always sure what I'm doing so sorry for that just make sure that I don't forget I press it more than I should again forgive me for my ignorance on the system Open the doors, and this will conclude 
this little trip uh, from Saint Margrethe and to Lindau. Um, I think I covered most of the functionality of the new RE421. Okay, so a couple of things I did not mention in the tutorial uh, before is uh, the lighting system. So when we start up the engine by doing a normal sequence of things, you will get information that the lights are in manual mode. And that's because this lever on the, on the left side is in the mid position. Um, if I further start up the engine, uh, we see this compressor, uh, which has three positions. It's either uh, in automatic, uh, which is forward, uh, it's off or it's always on. So those are the three positions. This uh, switch does not actually do anything. Uh, it's just uh, movable because normally all switches with passenger services, all switches should be in the front position. So just to make that, to get that realism, uh, we uh, we made we made sure that you can move the switch. Same goes for the lights uh, of the, uh, in the wagons. Uh, you can uh, can switch that on off with this uh, with this one. And uh, then we come to the service lights, and uh, if you leave it in manual mode, uh, you are able to, uh, for instance, go to the rear cab uh, and switch the lights with these three switches. So if we now go to the back, you see we have three whites. If I uh, move them all to this position, they're all off. And if I move them to this position, one will be red. It's not clearly visible, but this one is now on. Um, so if we now have a lock to, we leave the, uh, actually this, uh, this one we leave on, we go to the other cab, and those, that cab will have three whites. So this one's now red, this one has three whites. So then uh, this way you can manually uh, set the lights however you want to, uh, to set them. If I switch this on, it will try to automatically determine which lights should be on and off. Uh, it knows now that I'm uh, in Wukzuk uh, mode, uh, so it has white in front and red in the, uh, in the, in the tail. Uh, and if there are wagons attached, uh, the red on the, on the rear will switch to a white light. And also, when you change direction, the, the lights will also change. So that's the automatic position. So normally, you would probably put this in forward position. Uh, this switch uh, works a little bit different than in the real engine. In the real engine, it just uh, clicks a relay. You put it forward, relays on. Put it in the middle again, it stays on. Uh, with this system, it just has three different positions, which was just easier to, uh, to do and to script. Uh, one other thing we haven't uh, touched on is the, <coughs> the Wachsam, like Siva. Uh, if I press Shift 7, uh, it will switch on. And what will happen now is it will uh, go into the Swiss Wachsam system if we are in Swiss mode, and it will go into the German Siva system when we're in German mode. Press uh, Shift F7 again, and the system will, uh, uh, will shut off. So that's, that's the SIFA. Uh, in Germany, it will be 30 seconds. It will not be distance, but time-based. So then you will get a warning, a German warning about SIFA uh, every 30 seconds. Uh, anything else that I might not have, of course, the wipers are still as they always were. Uh, the left two speeds and the right also two speeds. So nothing much changed there. Uh, the monitor is movable. If you want to get access to the switches here, we do have a handbrake that you can use. Uh, the soup acknowledgement is this one. To the right is acknowledge a warning. To the left is uh, acknowledge a warning, but also override uh, a stop signal. So if, uh, if the signal in front was red, you have to stop. Uh, but the signal then turns green or too restrictive. 
uh, you don't have to stop for the system. You can just break out of the, the braking curve by turning the zoom to the left. And then uh, the maximum speed will be 40 until you pass that signal and then the normal, uh, normal speeds uh, come into action again. Um, I think that's, uh, that's probably it. Uh, I hope that uh, you enjoy the, the new RE421 pack. Uh, I think it, uh, it can, can make for a lot of, uh, a lot of nice, nice scenarios. Uh, also, I hope that people will, uh, will build their scenarios. And if you've got a good scenario, please share them if you want with me so I can share them on the, on the website. Uh, and if you need any help with that, obviously I can uh, I can help you with that too. Thanks for watching, and uh, I hope to speak.